the cool cats and welcome back to another episode of Persona Q on Risky Difficulty. So from the very start of the episode, I kind of want to go over a little bit of the rules of how I'm going to make these videos. I'm going to try to include at least maybe one battle per video, um, at least. And part of this is to kind of throw you guys off on whether or not I die in the episode. Um, so... I also have, uh, you can see down there, I have a plus four, which is how many deaths I had prior to making this Let's Play. So if you consider those deaths as part of my death counter, um, being that I gained knowledge on something, then yes, they are included into the death counter. So um, I, I don't want to like include it because you guys didn't actually see them. But in case you really want to stick to the whole, how many times did you die on Risky? Add four to whatever you see down below. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get going. I already did all my shopping, so it's just a matter of just going right on in, I think. Alright, let's hurry up and save Makoto and Haru. The inside of this movie seems pretty complex, though. I hope we don't get lost. Futaba, Futaba can you navigate us? Hmm, I've been doing some testing, and it seems like I can't do it like usual. Yeah, yeah, fluante, it seems somewhat unstable, or like I can't get a clear grasp of any location info. Perhaps he's suffering from some form of interference. It's possible that whoever brought about this anomaly is tampering with her readings. Although it's not like we can ditch our friends, we gotta go with or without navigation. Don't worry, I'm pretty in tune with my sixth sense. It's my wild side's intuition. I don't trust that in the least. Um, would this help you? Is that a notebook? Could you use this? Oh, awesome! We can do it the old fashioned way. I see. We won't have to worry about getting lost if we draw our own map in the notebook. Akio, as you proceed through the movie, map out your route and surroundings. So As long as you keep that thing updated, you definitely won't get lost. I hope. Are you sure we can use this, Hikari? You need it for anything? Sorry. Uh, I had that when I woke up here. I don't, I don't know what I was doing with it, so I guess you can use it. Actually, I want you to use it. Well, then don't mind if we do. Thanks a bunch. Hakio, I believe that we should leave the map creation up to you. Alright, I'll handle it. <laughs> yes, such a task would be best suited for our leader. You still intend to go in there. Please be sure that you don't push yourselves too hard. 
見くびるなってこれくらい俺らなら余裕だぜ<笑> Don't mis misunderestimate us misunderestimate us misunderestimate us is that a word? Underestimate us. This will be a cinch. Conos Kurini to be come ever. Egon on a cany hide in Dio. If we jump into this screen, we'll enter the movie, right? Paris no nakani hide in Ottawa. Mata Chigata Momukinara. This is quite a different process from how we enter palaces. Yes, sir. You cause it. All right, let's go. Aren't you going in? Nanda Urekara Nandayo. Yusuke. Why do I have to go first? Yusuke. Ninga, Isa to Naruto, Fungiri got Skana. We humans seem to have a difficulty stealing ourselves in the face of the unknown. Umaira, Hontosh Katanaina. Kokoa Pishit to Kimetekre. Sheesh, really, you guys? Akio, you should take the first leap. Make us proud. Leave it to me. <laughs> now that's our leader. You really are great at this. Then it's decided. Take it away, Akio. Everyone, be careful. First Avenue. Suke. Whoa, is this for real? We seriously got inside the movie. Now, how should we proceed from here? It wouldn't be wise to wander around aimlessly. Hmm? What's that noise? Hey, hey! Hmm? Is that Oracle? Oracle, can you hear us? Yes. Aha! Glad I got through to you guys. Looks like you're doing just fine. Wait a sec. Why are you in Phantom Thief attire too? Search me. All I know is that my outfit transformed the moment you guys went into the movie. How does all this crazy stuff even work? I don't know. Ma. Well, no point thinking about it too hard. There's still an awful lot we don't know yet. Anyway, everything's good on this end, so I'll back you all up, no problem. In that case, sorry to ask for something so quickly, but could you possibly take a quick look through the movie with your persona's powers? Mm. Nope, already tried. Even now, I can navigate you only because I can tell where you guys are, but that's all. I can't see where Queen or Noir are either. Sorry. All right. Well, looks like we'll just have to look for him. Still, it looks like I can get back everyone up in battle like usual. Don't worry about that part. Okay. Cut it, and you can count on us to find those two. All right, then. Make sure you draw your map as you move along so you don't end up lost later. Any problems with using that notebook in there? Oh. Everything seems to be in order. Shall we begin our exploration? Okay, the map can be viewed on the lower screen. Filling in the map is key to your escape from this world. Tap the pencil tool and you'll be able to draw walls on the map. Tap the brush tool to color the floor space. The eraser tool removes walls, so the dust cloth tool erase floors. Floor spaces get filled in automatically by just walking on them, but you have to mark walls yourself. Refer to help at the bottom right of the map for more information. Alright. Mm -hmm. Is 
this a ladder? I wonder where it leads. <laughs> it's pretty high up there. Maybe you can reach it? Skull, you've trained your legs in the track team. You should be able to, like, do a high jump and reach it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no way am I reaching that. Plus, I specialize in sprints. Is that so? I was looking forward to seeing your graceful leaping. Try jumping for a skull. This feels mean. <laughs> hey, cut out the impossible demands. What am I, some insane bird man? Perhaps that makes for an access point to somewhere. But at this point, there's no use speculating about it. Let's keep moving for now. Alright. We'll fill in that thing later. Okay, our first battle. <laughs> They're here. It's just like I thought. They seem different from the ones we find in the palaces. Regardless, they're still our enemy. They stand in our way. They must be defeated. <gasps> Inari's right. They don't look too strong, so let's charge on through like always. Alright, the affinity types. So from Persona Q, the first one, they've made it so that way there's no longer like multiple types of um, blunt strike pierce, whatever. And now it's all just physical, then the elemental types, um, including the nuclear and psychokinesis that came from Persona 5, so. Alright, all attacks have infinity, and both allies and enemies may be weak against them. Learn an enemy's weakness by using attacks with different affinities. After you find the type of affinity that a shadow is weak to, a reminder will appear above its head whenever you're about to attack with that affinity. Use this to your advantage to deal lots of damage, among other extra benefits. Let's do this! Try different attacks to find its weakness! Alright, so... You can go to items here, or just regular attacks. Um, we're gonna go ahead and... Just try and figure out what they're weak to. Throw some fire out. Throw some... Oh, my shit. So it's weak to both, um, light and dark. If your attack has an affinity the enemy is weak against, it'll trigger a weak hit. But if you want a slight chance of a critical hit, you're better off with a standard attack or physical skill. An ally who lands a weak or critical hit will receive a boost. Skills of boosted allies will deal more damage and cost zero, among other effects. Moves are very powerful. Avail yourself of them by performing the right combat moves and you'll be poised to annihilate your enemies. Okay, and now, let the games begin. Oh, they barely survived. No. どうやら弱点を狙えそうだね。余裕じゃねえか。苦労になっちゃう。邪魔するな。こうだ。ジョーカー、頼んだ。あとちょっとでレベルアップの予感。It seems that we could use our personas here without any issues after all. Yeah, but something feels off. It's like I'm not as strong or as fast as I used to be. Well, we are in a different world now. Perhaps 
we have to start over here. So able. By the way, what should we do with this stuff? There's some shards of those shadows we defeated. Hmm, I haven't the faintest idea of their worth. If only we could somehow use them. Uh, Nagi says she'll buy them at the concession stand when you guys get back here. Mozzie? For real! Then we'll be able to afford all sorts of things at the stand. Let's keep taking down shadows. Perhaps I should sell those shards next time I'm at the concession stand. Alright. Now, I want to make sure I uncover, like, all these walking spots, because... <laughs> well, I did this anyways when I was going through my first time, but I know that there's going to be a chest that you get, that you can open with 100%, um... Hmm? There's another one of those ladders we saw earlier. Yes, but there's nothing we can do about it right now. Let's keep going. Um, but anyways. I know that I can open it. I know that I can open it if we get, um, 100% in the map. New ones. Oh, New enemies have a rather interesting shape to them. Well, I'm sure it'll be a breeze if we figure out their weaknesses, yeah? Yeah. Actually, these guys are more aggressive than the ones from Oak 4. Be careful, everyone! When a boosted alley is hit by an attack, the boost is lost. Defensive skill, ammo skill, to prevent this, use skills that protect allies or afflict foes with status ailments. Ah, ruined our boost. I'm always recording data from our shadow attacks on the shadows. Let me know if you ever want to check it out. And then this just basically lets you know you can hit the L button to check their affinity and stuff. Sorry, Andy. It almost sounded like. Doo -doo -doo. Just as I thought, I'm getting tired faster. Taking a break might not be the worst idea. Yeah, keep an eye on your health. You're fighting in an unusual environment. Make sure you take the time to heal up, too. So recover from your battle wounds via several options in the X button menu. Use healing items and skills. And if an ally hits zero health like On has, you know, they're unconscious. When all party members lose consciousness, it's game over. Okay, then there's like an auto recovery feature to the game. Um, I really don't want to go that much further, <laughs> but. Go today, huh? Hmm? Hmm? Is that? Kamo City Subway Station. As I thought, there's stairs. Looks like they advanced on the next floor. We haven't spotted Queen or and Noir yet, so it's best to keep on going. So, we're supposed to head over there? I, I feel like we're gonna lose sight of it. Then what if I do this and put a mark on the map? Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad if I was able to be of use. Indeed. It would be easier to that way. Come now. We know where to head next. Let's look for a path that leads to those stairs. Alright, well... Go so today, huh? Here. Oh, over there! That's a, uh, was it a BLT? <laughs> FOE. That's right, I believe it stands for fried chicken on egg. Uh, what? Beef's way better with eggs than chicken. No, I stand by chicken. It's both cheap and filling. <sighs> well, we ignore those comedians. I want to remind you, that FOE is still really powerful. At the very least, you can't win against it right now, for sure. Wait, that's not good. We won't be able to go any further. 
Hey, I just noticed. Ain't that guy just walking around the same area? Couldn't we, like, slip past him when the coast is clear? Ah, that's it! Good job, Skull! You're actually useful sometimes. Sometimes? From the looks of it, this FOE is patrolling a fixed route. Even after checking more closely, I'm still not getting an immediately hostile reading from it. It's possible that it won't act unless ordered by the police. So it won't attack us unless we make the first move? Well then, why don't we observe the FOE's movements for a moment? If we work out its pattern, we'll surely be, we'll surely be able to evade it. Alright, the Phantom Thieves are getting sneaky. Let's do this, Joker. It'll be troublesome if it catches up to us while we're fighting other enemies. Be sure to remain cautious while running away from FOEs. Okay, FOE movements can be seen on the map. FOEs will keep moving even while you are in combat with other enemies. If an FOE reaches you while you're fighting other enemies, it will join the battle. The proximity gauge displays the risk of a battle occurring. Gray means you're safe. As you move, it goes green, then yellow, and finally red. Red means a battle is imminent, so keep an eye on this gauge. <sighs> we, we managed to slip past that thing. To think something like that is wandering around here. This place truly. Kamoshida Man City. I believe it was called Kamo City by the police officer earlier. Kamo City, eh? Seriously, what do you think of that name? It sickens me. <laughs> right? Seriously, to hell with the city named after Kamoshida. Kamoshida? If I recall correctly, he's a former teacher at Sujin High, no? Yeah, he was a coach for of the volleyball team, a whole lot of people got abused by him over the years. And it wasn't just physical abuse either. We almost got expelled by him, and Panther went through even worse hell. He's the worst piece of shit who saw himself some kind of king and just did whatever he wanted. A criminal with the distorted desires, the first target of the Phantom Thieves. So that bastard, you're telling me he's some sort of superhero here? <laughs> There's just no way. This can't be happening. I understand how you two feel, but we need to keep our wits about us here. From what I've gathered so far, Kamoshida Man and Kamoshida are two different people. What leads you to believe so? So that I remember what Nagi-san told us. How the hero character's appearance changed after we entered the movie. Oh yeah, she did say something like that. He wasn't Kamoshida Man before we came here, apparently. So in other words, that Hero of Justice is only assuming the appearance of Kamoshida? That's my current working theory. Demo. But why Kamoshida? That's totally a miscast role. Could it be related to us coming here? Well, Joker, what do you think? Are we somehow involved in the movie's hero taking on Kamoshida's appearance? I mean, if we aren't... That's crazy. It has to be related. So then. Mm, I agree. However, we have too few clues to be able to make that sort of conclusion yet. Then all we can do for now is press on. Right, we gotta hurry up and find those up too. Yeah, let's get going. Alright. Oh, hey, isn't that the ladder we saw earlier? So this is where it leads. We'll be able to make use of that ladder if we lower it. Why don't we check it out? Oh, we really got through! Wait, is this right by where we entered? I can't believe it took us this far. Looks like it's gonna be super useful. Yeah, I bet if we go through an area and drop a ladder, we won't have to go through the same path twice. It's like a... what's it called? You know, a short... Not a shortcut. Um, could you mean shortcut? That is accurate, though. Using this will make our exploration much easier. 
If we find ourselves in a similar situation again, let's proactively s let's try proactively searching the area. Also, it'd be best to mark this on the map for next time. When you tap an icon and drag it along while the pencil tool is selected, then you can place that icon on the map. For example, you can mark shortcuts with their own designated icon. That icon will automatically display the travel direction of the shortcut. Any icons placed by mistake can be deleted by dragging them to the trash can. The map has many other functions as well. Details can be found under the help of the modem right. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. You can all get back to the movie theater super quick now that we found the path. Are you guys getting tired? It might be a good idea to return and take a break. True. We are uh, unused to this method of travel. It may do us some good to head back and regroup. Joker. I'll leave the decision to you, Joker. When you return from the theater, you fully recover your HP and SP. So, Anne's dead, so we're definitely going to turn around and head back. So let's go ahead and head out. Yes. If you ever finish them off, you get that cool little animation. Ending a battle with an all-out attack will trigger a finishing bonus, which awards additional experience points. Level up! Using an all-out attack to defeat a shadow will yield a slim chance of rare materials. These can be sold at a shop for a hefty price. This is a chest. Mark a treasure chest location on the map with a treasure chest icon. Note that you can also see whether or not the treasure chest is open or not. Revival bead. After a floor is 100% explored, but if that condition isn't met, there is little another option. Spend play coins. These chests contain very useful items, so you should strive to open them. See how much of the floor you've explored in the upper right corner of the bottom screen. So that that 93% you see down there. <laughs> Treasure chest is emitting a mysterious glow. Yeah, we haven't. We haven't. Uh, Here is going to be a door. Um, I think we're good. We, we can. I think I'm, I can do this fight. Joker! Joker! I'm getting a shadow reading from beyond that door. I think you'll probably have to fight it. Are you ready for this? We're good to go. Yes. All right, let's roll. Joker! 
Shadow Reading's approaching. Be careful, Joker. Hmm? I'm getting a different reading from the shadow in the back. I feel like something's up with it. A special shadow, you say? How interesting. Sort of. You can either focus our attacks on it now, or deal with the others first. The decision is yours, Joker. Okay. So, in the labyrinths, you may encounter special golden shadows. We need to feed them. You may receive greater rewards than you would from normal shadows. Also, golden shadows may have special skills and resistances, so remember to analyze them while you fight. So, this is a good time to analyze. I didn't do this the first time I played. And because I didn't examine it and really think about what its name meant, I ended up dying. And this is where I died the first time I played the game. Um, so Bless Bane Lexi, it is going to cast Bless Skills. So knowing that it's going to cast Bless Skills, it is going to be weak to that. So. Oh my gosh. That is exactly what killed me last time, too. I might die here. If I get unlucky. No! No kidding! He's too slow. Sasato Kishiraso. Gatsuda Okay, we're good. I was scared that it was going to hit Joker again. That's exactly how I died the first time I played. Uncontrollable nonsense. Yep, let's do it. Nice Good rewards. Huh? The hell is this? It sure is shiny. It appears to be a segment of film. Its beauty really is quite stunning. It may come in use somehow. Why don't we take it with us? Okay, so we've reached the end. Oh, and I want to make sure I unlock this shortcut. <laughs> but yeah, we got a hundred percent, so. Go today, huh? Let's open up this, and we get the heal stone. Only usable in battle. Doesn't vanish after use. Stores 30 HP. Alright, and down we go. <sighs> Phew, we finally made it to those stairs from earlier. Looks like we can go downstairs with these. What should we do? Let's do it. Okay! <laughs> yeah, let's go! trap ahead. No, it's something back here! In the movie theater! Remember that door we found that had the authorized personnel only on it? Nah. Oh, you mean the locked one? What about it? I suddenly picked up a bizarre, super strong reading beyond that door. 
A reading? You mean an enemy? Mm. No, it's totally new to me. Some strange presence, and not even Naki doesn't know what it could be. It's highly unlikely to be Queen and Noir, but I still think we should check it out. If so, then we need to return to the movie theater. It's your call. Let's head back now. And we'll see what it is in the next episode. I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.